Ya deh, pakai tuh. Filtered or not filtered? That is the question. I wanted to do a little, uh, not really a video response, but I had watched um, Stogie Farts, uh, Pipe Beginners, Filters versus Unfiltered Pipes. I am smoking my Jake Hacker 2013 with a uh, bit of Celtic Pride from Tewksbury. I got a sampler pack which I'll be doing a review of later on. Now, um, you should watch his video and I'll put the link in it below regarding filters and not filters. Majority of the pipes do not come with filters. And even the ones that do have a little adapter in there that you can put in if you don't wish to use the filter. Um, I think starting out, in my personal opinion, uh, the filter helps considerably with um, gurgle, your pipe gurgle, um, getting the juice down the stem like how he had mentioned, and also it alters the taste a little bit that helps with tongue bite. Now I think it's a handy tool for beginners as kind of training wheels. Uh, for when you start smoking, it is kind of crappy because you can't put a cleaner through it. All the pipe is hot, you want to let it cool to remove the filter and then send your pipe cleaner through to clean it. And I find that it does mellow down the taste a little bit, but you have the pros and cons. Um, you know, the pros being reduced tongue bite, reduce the gurgle. And of course, you shouldn't be getting any juices down your pipe because it should be hitting the filter first if you change it as often as you should. Um, the cons kind of being you can't clean your pipe until the pipe is cool. You have to constantly buy filters to keep changing it out. Um, and it alters the taste of the tobacco ever so slightly. All my first pipes had filters in them, and I never really noticed the difference until I switched to non-filtered, and then I switched back. And it's very obvious, the taste-wise. Um, and then of course I try to run my cleaner through it, forgetting that I have a filter in it and wonder why I can't get my cleaner through. So I tend to stick to the non-filters, but I do still enjoy my filter pipes occasionally. And like I said, once you graduate to be able to take your training wheels off, if you will, you can go ahead and stick the adapter back in so you don't need to filter. It all comes down to personal preference, but I think it's, some people might consider it a crutch for beginners. But I think it's a good way to kind of ease in and help with those who either smoke too fast, um, or used to two aromatics biting their tongue. And again, I think for beginners, it's a good starting point. But again, it's all personal preference. Like I said, I do still have my filter pipes and I do enjoy them occasionally because they're beautiful. And sometimes I use a filter, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it lets me enjoy a, a nice smoke where uh, I would normally have to dry it out or it gives me a little bit of bite, but I can enjoy uh, without it. So, just wanted to give a quick tips, if you will, for our new pipe smokers, and even for the veterans if they care to watch. But, um, yeah. Stay smoking, my friends. <laughs>